Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to make ramps out of things that were never meant to be ramps. And we can really go anywhere to do this as long as it has some relatively long straightaways, so I'm thinking let's go to Matrix Freeway. So most of these makeshift ramps are going to be coming from the Gravel D-Series mod by AR162B, because this mod has a bunch of things that could potentially work as a ramp. We're going to start off by testing the normal trailer, which is available on... The Gravel D-Series mod by AR162B, D15, V8, single cab, new style, flare side, regular with trailer, and I need a breath after that, and I'm still talking, so I don't get a breath. Whew, okay. Uh, anyways, that's the first one we're going to test, and obviously, we need a vehicle to drive up the ramp, because you can't tell if a ramp is functional without driving something up it. Now, this stock truck, I don't think is a really good candidate, because it's wide. And this ramp is very, very narrow. If we try to drive this one up the ramp, uh you would have some problems because you're just going to end up hitting both of those poles simultaneously even if you drive perfectly centered. So we're going to need a slightly less wide vehicle. And I think the Bishu Covet should be a perfect candidate to do this with. And we're going to use the race edition because who doesn't like a race car? And now we're just going to back it up, reset it, and see if it can use that trailer as a ramp. So we reset it right here. And here we go. Now I'm probably going to use slow-mo at the end of this because this is not about how precise I can drive this car. It's about can this work as a ramp. So I'm using slow-mo here to make sure I can fit in between those two pillars cleanly. That looks perfect. Right in between them. And it worked as a ramp. Kind of. Like the truck still got damaged. My car got damaged. Everybody's hurting. But I did fly. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a very messy success. And now we get to bounce around. How you doing, car? Are you still drivable? No, you is not. You is broken. We'll reset you then. How is the truck? Uh, truck is totally fine. Except for the beat up tailgate and possibly beat up, uh, frame, actually. Because the whole trailer got shoved forward and I don't know how much damage it could have really done. So, truck is not fine. Truck is probably, possibly severely damaged. Oh, well. It also has a broken windshield. Yeah, truck didn't fare well, but it's drivable. It's got that going for it at least, which is nice. But it won't be drivable for long because I'm the driver. Now it's not drivable. Look at that tire. That's not a drivable truck. All right, so that's the first test. The next one we're going to test is this one, which looks really similar to the ramp we just tested, but it is bigger. I'll uh, prove that real quickly. Look at this one. It has one tire right here, and the one we're going to put instead has two rear tires, and it's wider. So there you go, it has two rear tires, it's wider, and it's also longer, I should point out, and it does this. When you lift it up, the whole thing lifts up, so it's even more like a ramp. For the car, I'm going to stick with the Covet, because it seems like it's a perfect car for this, in terms of width. Yes, you could fit a truck through this one, I think, but it's a lot easier when you have more room to miss. Because I am missing right here, and the slow-mo is going to save me. There's no way I could have done this one at full speed, probably. With the angle I came in at. So here we go! Fly, Kovets! And that, that was a pretty clean jump. Now, the landing, on the other hand, uh, I don't have anything planned for that. The landing is just crash. But that was a nice jump. So I could put some other car. I could put, like, another truck over here to catch it, right? Yeah, right. You're joking, right? I can't do that. So, Covet was broken. How about the truck and its trailer? Truck is actually undamaged, except for the fact that the trailer fell off, which might have caused some damage. When it fell off, I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell. But to me, it looks undamaged. The trailer also looks undamaged, except for the fact that it got pushed over to the side. So, let's try jumping it again and see if, any, if it uh, actually works now, because without the truck in the front... I'm assuming it's going to be just shoved along instead of actually being used as a ramp. Also, that doesn't look 100% normal. But here we go. We're jumping it again. That is one good ramp. We got two for two on that ramp. Man, everything can be used as a ramp. You know that? That's the truth of it. Everything's a ramp if you try hard enough. It's still good, though. Like, that trailer is perfectly usable. I like the fact that the trailer is totally unattached from the truck, but you can still lift it and... Uh oh, I broke it when I was doing that. I was gonna say you can still like open it and lift it and stuff with the parking brake, but now I broke it so it won't actually 
lean back to be used as a ramp. You're so mean. All right, so let's uh let's try using the truck to uh fit through this because the truck's wider, but I believe it'll fit. Actually, we don't need one of the modded trucks. I'm just gonna use the stock gravel D series, and I'll throw in the uh, off-road edition just for the heck of it because I think the bigger tires will make it a little more difficult. And I like a challenge unless it's actually hard. This one should be easy though because I could just be like, "Hey, let's use slow mo." For a second there, I didn't think the trailer was open. I was like, oh no, this is going to go terribly. It is open though. Alright, so try to fit. Try to fit. It didn't exactly fit. It just shoved the poles out of the way. and said, you can't tell me what to do. And the nice thing about this car though is with that off-road suspension and all that ground clearance and stuff, it has a chance of surviving that without significant damage to the suspension. See, boom. We're still driving. And... It's relatively straight, pulling ever so slightly to the right, whereas the Covet is just dead after every jump. In fact, I think this one's ready for round two. Let's go for round two. We're gonna jump it again. This is all science, man. I just want to know this myself. I really wasn't sure which ones would work or if any would work. But I'm so far they're two for two, which is quite impressive. It, this car is ridiculous. This truck is ridiculous for how fast it is. It's just one of those things where it's like, I'm just traveling along at 120-ish miles per hour without a care in the world. Like, what kind of truck are you? Is that ramp even functional after the first jump? Oh, it is so crooked. Oh, this is not going to go well. I could use it as like a flip ramp where it flips me on my side, maybe. So just shoving right through that pole. Don't care about it. Tearing apart the ramp, and we made another jump. Sort of. Not really. That is not a success. Although the truck may still drive if I didn't do that. I caused that last flip. How you doing, truck? Oh, you're doing decent enough, but I don't want to drive you again. I'll let you have an honorable win right there. But I do have an idea, though. What happens if you come at it, like, halfway on the ramp? Will that pull stop it, or will it just shove the pull out the way and be like, I don't care, it's a flip ramp now. So just like this. Oh, goodness, that... that oh, it worked, it worked, kinda. I thought I was gonna hit the truck. It kinda worked. I needed to be going a lot faster for it to actually function. But it did kind of work. So let's back this up, reset this and see if we could actually get it to actually fully 100% work as a ramp to flip you over. How far did you back up? Probably enough, maybe, I don't know. We'll see soon enough. I'm probably gonna need to go like 100 miles per hour when we hit the ramp, so let's see, how are we going? How are we doing? 90-ish is what we're gonna hit. 94, maybe, five, come on. 100, that's 100-ish, you know what, rounding up, that's 100-ish. So there we go, do a full flip. Do a full, or a roll, do a full roll. It's not going to be a clean one, but it might actually make it. Like it's... No, no, that's not good. It's not good at all. No good! Oh, ouch. That thing just got its tire pulled off. Obviously, the solution is to get a faster vehicle. And by faster, I mean a lot faster. So fast, in fact, that we need one that's unfairly fast. We need something with a turbo like the Impreza. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Reset the ramp after I ruin the truck. So the goal, I guess, will be about 150 miles per hour. That should be a good enough of a number to actually do this. And we're hitting just about that, 148 thereabouts. And that's not working at all. That one does not work as a flip ramp because you end up hitting those side posts and then you uh, ruin your car. Worth a shot, but not going to happen. Right, so let's go ahead and reset both of these guys and get a new ramp to test. Next one we're going to test will be the... Let's see, that's the same, but that's different. These two are different. We'll use this one first. Which is the Gooseneck Car Trailer. And this one should be interesting if it does work. The hard part's going to be lining up any vehicle to actually drive on that. It might be easier to actually line the vehicles up with the map header and then just go perfectly straight. Because right now I have to like go left and right and try to line this thing up with the ramps and then hope I actually do that right. Whereas the other way, I might just have to hold the gas pedal and it might hold up, uh, assuming I don't have the car pulling to one direction too significantly. And that one is no good, it looks like. It uh, didn't work out. And it looks like what happened was is it kind of ate my front bumper. 
So we might just need some more ground clearance. It's a possibility we could try. So let's uh, pull out the Gravel D-Series Off-Road Edition again. Get it in, uh, I don't know, green, because it's the Matrix place. And everything's greenish in the Matrix place. Well, it's supposed to be, but I don't like it, so I don't have it. That's not the Off-Road Edition. What are you doing? I want the Off-Road Edition. I guess that was just like some really sloppy clicking on my part. Like, I saw the red, and I'm like, ooh, red truck. I want the red truck. And I didn't even think, oh, wait. Red truck's like custom or sport or something, not the off-road one. Why would I want that one? You know, I just do dumb things sometimes. So anyways, on to the trailer. That's pretty much perfectly aligned. It kind of worked. I lost a lot of speed when I hit the jump. But it did get me to jump over the truck. Not very pretty either. I ended up rolling over and stuff. But it worked. That's what matters, is that it worked. How's the truck that I jumped over? He is perfectly intact. I'm surprised he didn't get any damage from the trailer when it uh, got slammed into so hard. Because right there, you can see there's something up with the trailer. It's all these black marks on it. I don't know if those are just... I don't think skid marks can go on vehicles. So that's like weirdness with the shadows or something. One thing I thought I just thought of though. That place, or this one, would actually work better for a flip ramp than the other one. Because it doesn't have those pillars on the side. And a flip ramp, I don't know if I've ever explained what that means or even if it's the right terminology. But basically, it's you hit a jump or a ramp with only two of your wheels, the left and left or the right and right, and then you do a roll in the air. And I think they're called flip ramps because I swear there's one that comes with BMG Drive that's called flip ramp. So it'd be something like that. Oh my goodness, no way. Make it pretty. Come on, make it pretty. Make it pretty. No, that's not pretty. Wait, that's kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty. Eh, it could have been prettier. Now it's ugly. It's ugly. But it did do a full rotation. That's cool. I didn't think it would have enough uh, height to do it, but it somehow pulled it off. And you know what, though? I'm staring at these overpasses, and all I can think is, I wonder if I could jump that thing. Like, that's what's going through my head is, I wonder if I could jump that overpass. So I'm going to line this up in a way where I might have a chance to jump it. And I really have absolutely no idea what kind of angle I'm going to get actually off of the launch. So, I, it's kind of a guess at what distance you need to line up from this. If you knew like an exact launch angle, you could figure out exactly where you need to, to uh, park the car and all that, but I, I don't know the angle, so it's like, you know what, we're gonna guesstimate this is the right spot. To be honest though, I'm skeptical about this ramp. Uh, like I don't see it happening because it just doesn't seem like it has a good enough of an angle to get enough height to go over the overpass. And the first jump wasn't that great in the first place. So it's like, well, why would it work? And it's like, I don't know, but it has a chance. And I'm all about giving things their chance if they have one. So here's your chance, one. Here's your chance for you, gooseneck trailer guy. Can you do this? Please. That was a perfect, perfect jump. I couldn't ask for better than that. And it's not quite high enough. It didn't get high enough. It's just going to, yep. It was a great try, though. Like, I couldn't ask for a better shot. So we could uh, switch out the ramp for the other one and see if that one works any better. I think the first one I'll try is going to be this one, the one we already saw, because I think that one has the best angle and the most likely to actually be able to get over that. Uh, however, I don't think the truck is the best vehicle to do that because it's so wide. We need, again, a nice thin car. So we're going to go back to the Covet. And the Covet's fast. I mean... It can get up to 100 miles per hour in this distance, I'm pretty sure, which should be enough speed, I would think, to actually make this whole idea work. Although I don't have slow-mo this time because, oh yes I do. I was going to say because I just spawned up the ramp, but no, I spawned the COVID afterwards, so we're good. We have slow-mo, so we have a good chance at doing this. I just realized this ramp is a lot closer to the overpass, though. Not a good thing. Fits right through it, though, and... Can you fly? Please, just a little bit. Come on. Oh, God. That was so close. If I pull that ramp back a few feet, it's going to make it. I know it. I know it'll make it. Push this thing backwards. Right there. Perfect. Reset it. All right, COVID, it's your time to shine. Now, I'm afraid a lot of this might just come down to luck. Am I lucky enough to fly in a way where we'll actually be able to go over the ramp? Because, I mean, the, the overpass. Because the ramps are kind of jiggly and stuff, so you could hit a ramp in a way where you don't fly that high and then hit it exactly the same, it feels like. 
but you hit it on the jiggly part more and you fly more it seems like so it's really iffy about this whole thing but that looks like a pretty good attempt at it over it oh I'll take it I will take it I mean we made it on top of the overpass that's even more impressive than over it isn't it well don't fall off but yeah that's pretty impressive don't you think I think there's one more ramp I'm gonna test but the other ones don't work out as well like this one it's not that great because it's just like that well here the best way to show them off is actually just doing a demonstration so I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck and put it in red because I'm not gonna be fooled by the red colors and you'll see that this ramp doesn't work so well even with a car with all the ground clearance it's still doesn't work so well because if the car that's lower you can't just slam into it with a car that's raised like this one it's a little bit better but still not great so here we go decent alignment it looks like right and this is what happens you kind of just crash into it and with a lower car it's even worse so yeah that's uh why I don't use that one and the other one is this one right here this one's cool see this one it has like this fancy thing that goes like that and stuff and I've had mixed results with this sometimes it works good sometimes it doesn't we'll see what it does with the truck and one of the major issues is that gate at the end sometimes you get crashing and go crashing into that and sometimes it's just the uh, the the ramp is too steep and you crash into the ramp itself which is not something you want to do and I have no slow-mo here that's not good not good one bit well there's an example of crashing into the gate as you see I just went smack right into it and it got me sometimes I've actually been able to push it through that was not one of those times I'm gonna go ahead and reset the truck so I get some slow-mo because it does help to actually see what's happening that one is just kinda I have to tell you what happened based on experience and seeing what happened previously this way you can actually see what it what I mean when it hits the gate uh, or you might not. Like I said, I've had mixed results. Coming in, good speed, good angle. And gate, again. I can't remember what car I used before where it got through the gate now. That's annoying. Oh, well, that one doesn't work out either. Sometimes. Sometimes. I've had it work once. Only once, though, so... Yeah. This one is boring. I said that before, didn't I? That one's boring. Just, it's boring. I don't want to do that one. Anyways. I think we'll finish this up with one more jump off of the ramp I like, and then we'll uh, end the video. My favorite ramp, I should say. And the car I'll use will be... I gotta decide on a nice car to use. How about we use... I don't know if it'll exactly fit, but if it does, it'd be really good. Let's try using the Hirochi Sunburst with like a fast version. I mean, if it don't fit, we're just going to crash into the sides, which is going to be an unpleasant experience. But I don't think it's as wide as the truck, so it should fit. I think it's a little bit wider than the the, uh, the Covet, but that shouldn't be an issue. Maybe. I don't know. I'm being optimistic here, okay? And I'm tired. That's why I'm kind of all over the place. I'm tired. Kind of worked. It's not going very high, though. Uh-oh. You're going to slam into that overpass hard. Good thing you got a roll cage. I guess I thought I was going to hit the roof, not the side. Oh, well. Uh, so that'll do it. Until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.